so I have a lot of wigs and obviously by the looks of this it was time for me to store and organize them so I thought I would come on and do a video showing you how I do that we're going to store our wigs and here's what we're gonna need I use Ziploc bags I don't really like the sliders but that's what I had so that's what I used they're the best for me to store wigs I also like these little bins and um, I got these from the dollar store you can get them from Walmart or anywhere so you don't need these pieces of paper or labels um, the Ziploc bags have little labels that you should be able to write on but just in case and of course you'll need a comb and a brush because you really want to handle those wigs before you put them in the bags and you're gonna need some Sharpies right so here is my first wig and before you put them in the bags to store them you're gonna need to comb through and detangle them so using a brush and starting at the very bottom of the wig I am gonna make sure that the wig is detangled and then I'm gonna move up and I'm going to keep brushing until there are no more knots in the wig. Some wigs are worse for wear than others. This one happens to be the kind of wig that doesn't really tangle that easily, so it was easier to brush through. So we're just gonna keep doing that until the wig is completely detangled, starting at the bottom and going all the way to the root of the wig, or the roots, or the top, the hairline I don't know the top of the wig let's go with that and you can see that it is pretty easy to comb through and look how much nicer it looks when you just you know when you take care of your wigs and comb through them they just they look nice they'll last longer so I am now going to grab it at the top and slide it into the Ziploc bag and then I'm gonna just keep grabbing the hair and kind of scrunching it into the bag, trying not to tangle it. I like to press out all of the air from the bag so that it's easier to store in the little cubicle thing. Um, it takes up less room that way. So you don't have to label it if you don't want to since you can see right through the baggie, but I find that it is easier to know which wig it is when I'm just kind of going through them. So I label them and then I'm going to place it in my little bin. So just a reminder that you need to wash your wigs before storing them and I will have a video on that so look for that coming up soon. So here's a shorter wig. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start at the bottom and just showing you how I do a different type of wig. This is one of my favorite bobs that I like to wear when I am uh, casual cosplaying can possible so I am just going to work my way up to the top of the wig and I'm gonna keep brushing it and it's pretty much the same for all the wigs and you can see the difference and how much nicer it looks once it's been brushed through and then I'm gonna grab this one at the top and stick it in the Ziploc bag just like I did the one before And then label it if you want to and go ahead and toss it into your little cubicle okay so now what happens if you have a curly wig well you don't want to use a comb or a brush you want to use your fingers to kind of detangle it and straighten it out make it look nice before putting it away um, don't want to lose the curl pattern or any of that and so that's I find that using my fingers is just the best way to do it and I'm gonna do the same thing kind of grab this one at the top and then stuff it into the bag I'm gonna label it and then I will throw it in the bin oh my god I'm so hungry I should have eaten before I started this video that's fine I'll just eat now whoops 
Mmm, mm, 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 mm. mm, good. Right, so moving on. This wig is a curly wig, um, which means I don't necessarily want to use a brush because I don't want to frizz it out. So here's one of those situations where you're just kind of trying to do something on video and it doesn't work out. So I'm using a comb because it is a curly wig. And as you can see, I'm having a little difficulty detangling it. Right, look at that knot. So I really kind of have no choice but to take it off camera and try to work my way through it. So I do that and I bring it back and I'm trying to comb it for you guys to see it, but the comb is still having a pretty difficult time getting through. Um, here's a little hint. If it is not a really, really curly wig, like this one's just kind of a, a wavy er wig. If it's not like a really curly wig, you can probably still get away with using your brush, which is what I did, which is now why the wig looks much better. A little fluffy, but much better. If you find that you are losing a little bit of your curl pattern um, when you comb or brush the hair, you can spray it with a little water or just put it under some water and let it dry and the curls should come right back. Um, so I twist it while I'm putting it in the bag so that I can keep the curls at the bottom. So this wig has several pieces. What am I gonna do? I am going to get a smaller baggie and I'm gonna put the pieces into that smaller Ziploc bag. And those are just pieces that are like pigtails for this wig. And then I'm going to put that smaller bag into the bigger Ziploc bag and then I'm gonna slide the wig right on in there. Um, this helps the pieces to stay separated and to not get tangled or kind of confused and mixed up with the others. So here is my bin with all of my wigs. I actually ended up having to use two bins because the curly wigs take up a lot more space than the straight wigs. So there are my curly wigs and there are the straight wigs and now they are all organized and stored and ready for me to use them. So yeah, that's really all I have for you. Um, thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions at all about how I store my wigs, just um, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Um, if you have a different way that you store your wigs, then also let us know in the comments what's the best way for you to store and to, you know, kind of organize your cosplay wigs. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful for you and I can make sure that I do more of these videos for you. But I do appreciate you watching and happy cosplaying guys and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye!